one, please shoot a man that was having a mental health crisis. Yes. And this one's pretty close to home. Please shoot a man armed with knife following a 911 crisis call. A 35-year-old man is dead, shot and killed by police after investigators respond to a 911 call for a person in crisis. He was having a medical episode and he's dead. Go figure. For Fox 13 News at 4, I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Hannah Kim. A 35-year-old man is dead in Sumner, shot by police after what originally came in as a 911 call for a person in crisis. The Sumner, Puyallup, and Bonnie Lake officers were called in along with state patrol officers to this incident, all of it unfolding at Highway 410 and the train overpass in Sumner. As Fox 13's A.J. Janivelle reports, the Pierce County Sheriff has now been called in as an outside agency to investigate this shooting. Matthew, sheriff's officials tell me that 35-year-old did have a knife, but what led up to that shooting is still a mystery. I also got a chance to speak to the person who tells me he's the one who called 911. He says he can't believe this happened. Right up there where you can see where the railroad bridge is? Yeah. If you look right there, that's where he was standing. Sunday evening, Eric Geertsen tells me he saw a man near his property. He said the man was talking to himself and wearing a white sheet. Geertsen told the stranger he had to leave, and when he didn't, he called the police. I said, man, nobody wants to hurt you. It's so sad. I mean, I, if I would have known this was going to happen, I would never have called 911. It's shot fired on a little bridge of Arizona on 410 and Traffic Avenue. All of them are okay. For two hours, investigators say they tried to work with the 35-year-old, who deputies tell me was armed with a knife. Negotiations included a civilian crisis responder, but around 8.30 at night, police shot and killed the man. The official release says Sumner, Puyallup, and Bonnie Lake police used lethal force. Officers immediately attempted a life-saving measures and called for paramedics to come into the scene right away. But unfortunately, he was pronounced deceased at the scene. Pierce County Sheriff, as an outside agency from the deadly shooting, are now investigating. The Pierce County Force investigation team will do the complete investigation and then turn over the investigation to the prosecutor's office and the prosecutor's office is responsible for making any uh, decisions and findings on the investigation. Geertsen tells me he didn't even know about this tragic ending to an incident in his own backyard until he watched the news Monday morning. And right as soon as they said it, my heart just sunk bad. I don't even know the guy, but I feel sorry for him. Sheriff's officials tell me all of the officers involved are on paid leave. That is normal procedure in these situations. Now, there also should be body camera footage. Those departments do have body cams, but that footage has not been released as well. There is no timeline for when we'll get more answers. It could take months. It could take up to a year. The minute that we learn more, we'll keep you up to date. We're reporting live in Pierce County, Maj Janita, Fox 13 News. Yeah, imagine as the police department review itself. After... And I say, after our turn review, we found that our police officer did no wrongdoing. How many times do you hear that? Oh, about 99% of the time. 